Hello and welcome to episode 13 of our Timberborn Update 5 hard mode playthrough with the Folktales faction here in cycle 22, day 20. Last time, we did a whole bunch of small improvements in this general area, built some uh, bakeries, started making maple pastries. We got a lot more work to do on that regard uh, today's episode, but we also got into gravity batteries and we have plenty more to do here as well. Uh, about halfway through our drought here, got 15 days left and there is plenty to get done as we seek to expand our population and get into some new tech trees we are in need of more metal we are just about out uh, from what we have access to we this is pretty much it right here and now you might be saying oh that's a lot of metal well it's not really when you consider all the stuff we still have not unlocked and gotten into so one of the things we're going to want to do sooner rather than later is going to be to maybe come over here to get some metal uh, maybe come over here to get some this probably is the most realistic uh, easy access even if it is a little further than this uh, we'll, we'll see what happens we have some options and we also eventually want to get into putting our uh, efficient mines on top of this although the folktales don't really have that great of a production here in the mines just because they can't use the uh, dynamite to get the turbo version like the iron teeth do but we'll see we've got plenty of stuff to consider plenty of other stuff to take care of along the way and we really need to make sure that we have enough water storage not only in our uh, our tanks up here we have 7,000 stored in the tanks which is great but um, as our population gets bigger we're gonna need to make sure every square inch of this is completely filled to the brim before droughts start or bad tides and that's going to cause some interesting problems speaking of interesting problems uh, I've found one that uh, I did not know I had gotten myself into thanks to some of you in the uh, comments and I'm gonna pause this there's a reason um, this thing our wonderful fantastic dirt excavator is poised to dig a giant hole in the middle of our uh, our little, uh, shall we say, diversion channel whenever bad water happens to come by. So uh, what happens when you dig a hole? It fills with water. If this hole fills with water and we have a bad tide come through, it's going to be full of bad water, which means that uh, when this gate opens at the end of a bad tide, after this uh, thing right here senses there's less than 1% contamination of bad water, uh, guess what? There's going to be bad water swirling around down here that's not going to get flushed out. So we're going to run into some, uh, shall we say, issues with that. So as much as it pains me to say, this dirt excavator cannot stay here. It absolutely cannot. Because we don't want to create a situation where we're going to be shoving bad water into our main reservoir. So fortunately... Uh, we have the option to just move this somewhere else. I know we spent so long building this, and uh, we're going to have to wait to build more of it because we don't have all the materials to build it again. But uh, we just we can't take that risk. So goodbye, farewell. Thanks for the uh, little divots uh, right here. We'll probably end up having to fill back in. Uh, we don't have the dirt quite yet to do that because it takes... Oh, no, we have exactly enough dirt, but we, uh, we haven't unlocked that yet. Let's instead find a spot to put this oh man i feel so stupid for doing this but that's uh it's not a game you want to play uh getting yourself into trouble with uh, all of that stuff so uh that is what we're gonna do we're gonna stick this guy i imagine probably right about here uh would make sense so what that's gonna mean is this does not have to be here anymore um yeah, we're going to just uh, collect those resources. We'll leave this here, though, in case we want to build across the uh, the river. But uh, we're going to go ahead and come off the back side. Well, actually, we don't even have to get rid of that either. We just come in with our... Uh, well, I don't have to have this paused. Uh, come in here with our high power shaft. If I can actually click. And then uh, all we have to do is just uh, bring this around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, uh, and then have this in the correct rotation. That would help. And then we just have to have stairs. If I can even click on the right thing of stairs. There we go. Yep, just uh, stick this guy here and I will even go ahead and dynamite that out so we have the ability to put other stuff in here. But 
man, that is a, uh, yeah, <laughs> that sure is deflating to, uh, to, to put it mildly. Oh, what a, what a mess. What a mess. And I'm going to blow that up too. So I can put a big, uh, a big dirt thing in. But yeah. That's, um, that's rough kids. <laughs> and by kids, I mean the dominant facet of my audience that's 25 to 44 year old men from the United States so none of us are kids but sometimes I think like one and not in the fun ways so we'll just uh we'll just leave that be pop some dirt storage right there so like I said we have uh, some additional gravity battery stuff we want to deal with here but honestly for right now these two are probably just fine for the amount of stuff we're actually producing and actually doing here. So we'll want to make sure that we're uh, being intelligent with how we have this stuff set up. Uh, and I do want to go ahead, since we don't really have too much going across it right now, I want to go ahead and put in, uh, there we go, the other half of this bridge. And eventually we might replace this with the 4x or the 5x, but for right now, it's fine just the way it is, and that'll allow us to blow this up. It, it, there's no real reason we would have to, I just think it would look nicer. So that is A-OK. -okay. I mentioned earlier about having more stuff go on over here. Uh, this is supposed to be making some more uh, power for our two grist mills here. But the uh, wind is... Oh, cool. Now the wind's blowing. And that seems to be working just fine. Making twice our uh, wheat flour. Probably need to have more of these. But for right now, it's going to work just fine. These guys are making maple pastries. We have storage for those here. We have storage for wheat flour here. Storage for wheat flour here. Storage for bread here. This guy's making bread. So we have plenty to get to work on. Looking fine. And uh, we also are going to want to put another bad water rig over here at some point when we have the time uh, and the resources. Uh, mind you, it's going to take a whole lot of resources to get this done. But it is in the middle of a drought, and uh, we're going to want to go ahead and get this connected back again and unpaused because there's a lot of bad water in here that we want to have access to so we can make some more explosives and make some more of this extract. Because that's going to be pretty important for us to do uh, some more stuff. Yeah, looking pretty okay now. And last time we also were talking about uh, maybe putting in some additional floodgates and stuff to divert or control where stuff goes. I think for right now we're probably okay. We should focus instead. Oh, they can't can't reach this. Too far away from a thing, and I can't get to this unless I remove plants. So let's unplant that. We're not really in any sort of a rush. But I am going to start building uh, terrain blocks. Because we want this to be all... Well, I guess I need to actually have uh, the rest of this put in place first. I want this to be all farmable land. And we are certainly going to get farmable land once everything's put in place. These guys here, the contamination barriers... Uh, again, probably don't need them because this is just going to be diverting anyway. But it's fun to play with the uh, little experiments there. We might might end up messing with some of that over here if we want to put more farms in. But I think for right now, this is doing just fine. I don't have too many notes from last episode. Most of the comments that people left were regarding uh, <laughs> either the really dumb location of the dirt excavator. So I'm glad we got that fixed or just general opinions about uh, where things should be placed, uh, putting in either a dome or another bad water rig here, which um, obviously I'm not going to have the beavers come down here while the uh, stuff is spewing out. So we really do want to build another uh, bad water rig here. But we'll see what happens. We got time. We're actually really stable on food and water. Uh, we should, in theory be uh, planting some additional stuff with our aquatic farms. But uh, kind of struggling on where to put an aquatic farm, the way this is currently set up. Uh, we might might be able to uh, sneak something in up here, maybe. 
but the the risk of having it contaminated by bad water is really high so it probably would make more sense to just have maybe part of this sectioned off or maybe even this just be one block deep but the water evaporates so fast now and we have such long droughts it really doesn't seem like a very easy thing to do to have uh to have these aquatic farms we are going to want the materials that we can grow and uh, the food we can make and stuff but it's just it's going to be a challenge it's almost like you're going to have to have that whole thing sectioned off and just filled up with water dumps or possibly uh, with the mechanical fluid pumps but we're not making nearly enough power to worry about that we have quite a few other things to take care of and we have our work cut out for us already with how this is set up to work with the uh, outdoor water storage I guess we could say now how how far along are we we're waiting on treated planks oh these are paused that's why that's not working all right well solves that problem real quick now we have space over here I know we we have these stupid things um, this isn't going to be visible, I don't think, so don't tell anybody, I say to an audience of thousands of people, but I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna do that. We're not gonna worry about it. We're just, we're just gonna leave it alone. It's gonna be okay. Nobody has to know. We'll just, uh, we'll just deal with it and it'll be, it'll be fine. <laughs> all right. So, uh, then of course I can't put all of this on at the same time, but... I can go ahead and start building out uh, this way and then keep going. Uh, we need to have a lot more of these lumber mills. In fact, we really we just need to have a lot more of this industrial stuff in general. We also need more beavers, which means we need more housing, which need, means we need to have all the rest of the stuff taken care of as well. There's just a lot that builds on everything else requires us to be uh, a little bit more thoughtful in how stuff gets laid out. And this space right here, while this is mostly okay, I mean, there's not really a good reason for us to have another enclave of beavers over here. We really probably should be keeping everyone within the same general area. Theoretically. But we don't need this log storage here. We definitely don't. Um... Ah, yes, they changed the name of this. It used to be a shrine, now it's a contemplation spot. And the temple is now called an agora. We hadn't talked about that, but uh, I think they just changed that because uh, it's more in line with the whole nature thing versus any specific religion that we might know as humans. I don't know. I don't think it's really, uh, really worth thinking about that hard. This forester does not need to be here anymore, so that can go away. And the reason I'm doing all this is because we have an opportunity right here to put in some more beaver housing. And I think what we're going to want to do, this is four wide. I can do, yeah, if I blow this all up, actually, we can put a bunch of other beaver housing right here. We'll move our contemplation spot. And we'll move our gatherer flag out of the way. Put these back here, I think. Yeah, that's going to work out just fine. We'll move our contemplation spot uh, back out to maybe right here. And then our gatherer flag can be right here as well. So it might be technically ill-advised, but I'm going to blow this up. So we have a level entrance right here. Sink this down into the ground just a tiny bit. And that's looking just fine. What I'm also going to do Let's take this out because, uh, well, I need to get rid of this stuff too. We, we can really organize this a lot better. This log storage does not need to be here. Uh, I'm going to blow this up. That's a fun sound. Uh, I should also blow that up. There we go. So double lodge here, double lodge here. Do the same thing. Double lodge here, double lodge there. And that gets blown up. Then I will put stairs there. Come on. Very nice. And now I've got space down here. But a bunch of other stuff. We've got a four wide space. Uh, we have needed to put a dance hall in. I don't have the materials to make it quite yet. But, oh, that's a little bit bigger than I thought it was. Okay, that's too bad. Um, Can I... 
Oh, I can if I move. Yeah, if I move some of this other stuff, I think I can get away with it. And just put this thing right on the uh, <laughs> right on the shore here. So that would allow us to uh, actually make pretty good use of this space. We just have to get rid of all of our uh, medical beds. But you know, we're really not even using that many of those. We have oh, we have nine incapacitated beavers. So maybe we are. Maybe we should just move our uh, our whole thing a little bit, a little bit further away. I don't know, things to think about. I can't build the thing yet anyway, so there's no sense in getting super upset about it. Um, wait, oh, I didn't connect that. That's why that's not working. That's fine. Um, oh, you know what? You know what? If I were smart, I would have done this differently, but oh well. We'll survive. That'll be okay. I was going to say, let's put a mud bath over here, but then I remembered it's not a two-block tall building. It is a one-block tall building, and uh, that wouldn't... Wouldn't really fit right here. Actually, no. You know what? No, I'm I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose to be intelligent, kind of. And uh, we'll uh, we'll stick this right here because what we could do. He says before putting this with the uh, thing on the wrong side, but we can flip it around. There we go. Yeah, let's put this right here, and then we can just have another staircase. Come up like so. I didn't need to pause this to do that, but we'll uh, we'll get this get this figured out. You don't have enough treated planks. I know. We'll work on it. It's fine. We're adults. Technically, <laughs> we'll get it figured out. All right. So this guy now is ready to put a lumber mill in. That'll help us get more planks to make more treated planks because you know you have to have that to uh, have more. And now we have fourteen extra beds. Oh, I am so close to just putting a dance hall here and moving the rest of this out. Maybe the uh, maybe the herbalist is something we could move up here. Let's actually uh, let's do that because we have so much space. We I could put this stuff on top of these houses, and that would probably work just as well. Or I could put it up, or I guess up against this side of the uh, cliff right here. That might be uh, might be a better idea, but if I get rid of this, okay, somebody's in here, so I probably shouldn't get rid of it while they're in there. But if I get rid of that, then I can put a dance hall here. I can actually move this all the way around the outside. Did I not unlock this? Oh no, I didn't. Okay, but yeah, this is what I was thinking of putting this somewhere somewhere about here. I guess I could even just uh, stick it right here, but then I would have to move those two anyway. I, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll put it here. That'll be fine. Or maybe I could put it here. I, I just keep making up excuses to not put things in places that make sense. So maybe maybe right here is actually a better spot. Because then I could just move uh, the rest of these things over to the other side here. Does this need treated planks? Of course it does. I'm going to... I need to pause that. <laughs> I have to put my treated planks into the mud bath. That is the power conductor for the dirt excavator. Oh, boy. File that under things that don't make sense. Okay, so I have 2,000 bad water. Almost all of it stored here. I'm going to pause this since we have such a worker shortage here. Just want to make sure we could use uh, all of our bad water. Oh, I can actually uh, set this off. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. We're making good progress, folks. Um, I need more extract. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're getting there. No available workers. Yep, okay. I know that song all too well. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. No, I, need, I don't need the double. I want the single. Why did I click on that? There we go. We'll just, uh, we'll just keep putting more and more and more of these things. So this will give us, uh, once that's done, six of these which should help us quite a bit. I forget the folktales don't make it quite as fast as the other factions do. Let's do medical beds. Up and down here, I think I will just do uh, those three, which will absolve me of removing these two and putting this path in. Might as well just go ahead and uh, connect that. Anybody in this? Yes. Oh, they're both full. We have extra beds. We have extra beds. 
Not the uh, end of the world there. Yeah, I, I really need to get my uh, my game up on making these bad water rigs because I can't uh, I can't just keep deleting the stairs. <laughs> so they can't get in there. Oh, we have to have a better solution to that. And I don't want to I don't want to just cap it off with the bad water dome because I feel like eventually we're gonna want to have access to that other uh, that other thing. Although I could just shut up and build this and just be done with it because I have. Oh, no, I don't have the materials for that either. Okay, so I guess that's not going to be our uh, not going to be our thing then. We do need to make sure to remove those stairs again before we uh, before we get into the uh, non drought part or else we're going to have some pretty bad problems. Yeah, see, we have. Wow, these are full. I guess our windmills are doing their job. That means we can build more industrial stuff, but we really, really got to have some more beavers here. Really got to make that happen. All right, so if that's done, I believe this will fit. Yeah, that'll fit. I can rotate that that way, or I can have the entrance down here. I'm not entirely sure which would be the better option. I think maybe for our viewing purposes, we're going to want this facing this way. Which technically shouldn't matter that much, but I guess we'll, I guess we'll roll with it. All right, let's harvest this potato. Not that we really even have room to harvest potatoes because we're not going through them fast enough. But we'll see. We'll be fine. That does mean, though, I can start growing other things up here that are not potatoes since, since we have so much, so much other stuff. In fact, yeah, we could actually have a path uh, continuing to go around here. I don't think we really need to, but we, we still could. I want this, I think, to go across, which we can get to at some other point. But we'll uh, we'll keep that in check. We'll see what's up. We have tons of water. Tons of water looking really good there. Uh, still pumping out of here. Probably don't need to, strictly speaking, but it's working just fine. We can keep detonating this down. And then we can build another set of... Uh, Another set of gravity batteries. Let us keep putting that in. All right, how close are we? We got nine, seven, seven treated planks left. Okay, we really, really got to start making more and more planks. So let's prioritize construction of this. Get some more planks going, and then at some point, I think we're gonna have to uh, have to figure something out over here with how the rest of this is set up. So this is empty treated planks. Of course, it is. Yeah, this is kind of a disaster right here. In fact, this double lodge, we probably don't want to have that right there. I don't know. We got a bunch of different options for uh, for doing stuff. I don't always do the things that make the most sense. All right, let's uh, get rid of those. Connect these right here. No, I don't want to delete the beaver. There we go. So now, I know we still can't build this because we don't have the uh, treated planks, but that's going to fit really nicely right there once we have the ability to construct that. So that's fun. Uh, let's see. How many <clears throat> incapacitated beavers do we have right here? I'll just go ahead and build these. It does no harm. It just uses resources. So that'll give us 15. And then I am going to eventually move this herbalist up here and get rid of that. We can plant a couple more carrots. Not like we need it right now, but we will we will want to have those later. I think we probably should plant some more sunflowers, and I think that's what I'm going to plant up here uh, once we get all that taken care of. But we can go ahead and put this in place, which means they're going to be able to get these trees out of the way. In theory, I thought that would be close enough. Well, now they can reach it. No problem. All right, we got two days. Two days. We've actually gone through a couple hundred of the bad water that's been stored in here, so that's nice to see. I probably should build a large storage tank for bad water. Uh, somewhere right around here would make sense. Uh, so if I put this here, that would give me two, four, six. Okay, yeah, cool. So metal block storage, uh, this instead of being planks. Oh, I missed the stackable. The stackable stuff we could actually make this into other stuff because i think 
I think I'm going to need to have other stuff here. This is pine resin, gears, gears, and paper. I can stack the piles on top of stuff, but they have to be flat buildings uh, like this. And that's not really, uh, not really currently set up to be something that makes a whole lot of sense. I could put triple platforms. Or I could just put two doubles, but I also don't have a lot of planks in the first place. This, thankfully, is finished. 1.2 days. Uh, how much bad water is left in here? 553. Okay. So, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete that for now so we can have absolutely no accidents. And there will be a better solution for that at some point. Don't worry. We'll get there. We'll get there. Just takes time. All right. So, this is done. Let's put the rest of this in place. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, and then all of this. Why did that come over here? They're not gonna be able to reach that. Alright. So I'm gonna have to put the I'm gonna have to put the path here anyway. Well, they'll they'll pick it up at some point. Oh I guess they did, unless I deleted it. Hmm, alright. Well maybe I'm actually going insane. Who can tell? Alright, so all that water's gone. This looks nice. I'm glad we did glad we did that. We got a lot of uh, got a lot of wood. We don't really have anywhere to store it, so we need to build an underground pile uh, somewhere that's not going to be missed. Uh, I need to research that. That takes eighty planks, which we don't have yet. So we gotta get that figured out. I still don't have enough beavers to do all this. We need to get more. Need to get more beavers in place. Need to build more houses. So we gotta find something. Uh, there's wood here. We have so much wood, I'm not going to lose any sleep uh, getting rid of that. So I think what's going to have to happen now is we're going to build off the side of the cliff here just a little bit. Just a little bit. We have room on this side. We can either do, we can either do the uh, single platform like this, which I think is probably going to make more sense just to do that way. There we go. Cycle 25 begins. You know what? I know that people are probably so sick of hearing me say you know what and then changing my mind on stuff, but uh, this is going to make more sense. I promise. Well, I guess I shouldn't promise because there probably are people out there that just think anything that doesn't make sense doesn't make sense. You know what? No, I'm not even going to try to justify that statement. That's just complete brain just dysfunction. That's fine. So I don't have enough workers. I don't have enough extract. No, I do have enough extract. We just have to be able to actually do stuff. All right. So, yep, that's turned back on. That's fine. It will continue pumping. So we'll be okay. Just got to cap this off or put a bad water rig on it. And that'll be fine. How are we doing on our... Yes. Good. Not that we need to have any more gravity batteries, but uh, we definitely are going to want to uh, get those going as soon as possible. Let's check out the depth. This looks like it could be four based on the shape of this. So we will uh, blow this up and then we'll put a single down if that's how high that is. Because once we have all this taken care of and gravity batteries in place... We're going to be able to make a lot of power and store a lot of power. All right, so here comes our water. Going to back up, come down here, and then back up over here. Should be nice. Uh, these need to be paused. Um, they should be paused when the temperate starts. I don't know why that wasn't a thing. This one probably also doesn't need to be... Uh, these don't need to be used constantly. I mean, we have plenty. This is, yeah, this is so far away. I'm just going to have this pause when a, uh, when a temperate starts. We'll only use it during a drought because there's plenty of other stuff these beavers should be getting into that they aren't. All right, now we have dirt somewhere. Yep, right here uh, we have storage for dirt. And this should be refilling. Looks like it is. Yes. 
Very good, very good. This will be manually opened to alleviate back flooding. I should automate this. I just, I'm not going to attempt to figure it out. Someone is typing an angry comment about that, I'm sure. But that's fine. Is just a lot more uh, complication than I think I care to deal with. At least at this exact moment in time. If I am sufficiently bored later on, then maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll mess with it. But man, this sure is taking a long time to fill up. We've we've got a pretty huge, pretty huge slice of real estate here dedicated just to storing water. So this hasn't flooded quite as fast as I thought it would. Let's, uh, I guess, I guess we can put this up to 1.5 now that there's enough mass or enough space for the mass to coagulate before it gets too far out somewhere else. We should be okay. But we do need to keep deepening this because you know this is already going to be just the largest pain in the butt when it comes to uh, these longer droughts as our population gets bigger. Because remember, we want to have several hundred more beavers, and we are absolutely, absolutely going to want to take advantage of as much storage space as we possibly can. And we want to put a fourth uh, large water pump here, but fortunately we don't need it quite yet. Okay, so if we start planting some more sunflowers up here, that's going to be a good use of this space. I think we can be fine with that. We have 12 little bits of dirt. Prioritize by haulers. There we go. Set to supply. And then since we're doing a project up here, we probably should have a uh, little dirt storage pile. Let us put one of those right here. Set it to obtain. And that should help these guys out somewhat. So sunflowers here. Just keep on filling that up. Want to make sure we're staying on top of all of this. I think I can go ahead and... Make sure this is reachable. I can probably actually do all of this. Ah, no, that's not reachable. Okay. Yep, figured that would be a problem. Nope, I don't want that one. I want this one. So this, this bit needs to be the priority if they're going to be placing all of this. And then the next bit needs to be... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just let it do what it needs to do. It seems to be working out pretty well. We just need more beavers. Just need more beavers. But let's check out our dance hall situation. I need 20. That I have 42. Uh, if we're actually making the treated planks, we're not using them for anything. I think I can go ahead and put this down. There we go. That's going to be a fun one. Watch them and do their dancing. Got three empty beds. I actually only have one one vacancy, but that's going to get filled very, very quickly, and we want this to be... Uh, there we go. Oh, they can't reach this, can they? Okay, that was, uh, I guess, bad planning by me, but I'll put a staircase here so they can get into that. Uh, let's go ahead and put our... So if I do doubles, one, two, three, four. It doesn't really matter. It's just a uh, visual thing. But I will go ahead and put those two in place. And then, since we're just on the hillside, I think we can do some decorations with these uh, two by three roof pieces. There we go. Might as well make that look nice. We can do the same thing up here as well. Get a little bit more in the way of well-being. All right. So we have uh, not quite, not quite gotten all of this dynamite in place. I figured they would have done this since I prioritized it, but oh, uh, they're gonna do everything at the same level of priority is gonna go at the order of placement. So they'll get to these in a second. No worries there. We just need to make sure we have plenty of water stored. Even though our, our uh, storage is pretty much full. Eh. I don't think we really need to be that stressed out about it. We have plenty of wheat flour, at least kind of. Um, 
well, kind of and plenty don't really go together, I don't think. Uh, I need to build another bakery. That was one of the things I was going to put up here after I uh, put everything back together. I guess I didn't do a great job of that, did I? Let's put in... That's not going to fit. It's got to be a triple. Because if this goes here... I'll tell you what. I'll just do this. Then this wheat flour storage actually should be built here. There we go. Wheat flour, wheat flour. And then this can become the other bakery. That just makes sense. All right, so this is ready. That'll have oh, a little bit of flooding, but that'll give us a little bit of extra space there. Um, oh, I don't, I don't even know if they can get all of this put in in the next half a day. Probably can't, but we'll see. I have the dynamite and I have the extract to do it. We just have to make sure the builders can do what they want to do. And I have unemployed beavers now. Lots and lots of unemployed beavers. So I need to build some additional builders huts. I think that would be a smart move. Dirt storage is already coming out. Yeah, we can really we can really do some upgrades here. We have the technology. Now is this a single single? Yes. Okay. So that's good to know. We don't need to waste dynamite unnecessarily. Well, I mean it's gonna be the same amount of dynamite, but we don't need to waste extract. I guess I should say. Would be the smart thing to do. Alright, so we'll leave that alone. Uh this is approaching approaching readiness, I suppose. I do need to get this, these two put in. I guess they're not going to, uh, not going to do that because they missed the memo. Now they're all hungry. They want to go to bed. <sighs> it's fine. Just, just put the stuff here so I can detonate it, please. <laughs> somebody, somebody finish this off. I guess we're going to have to wait, but that's fine. I mean, again, we have almost full storage and we have plenty left in here. 20 days. All right. Not going to finish that one of this episode, but uh, we will probably get through most of it. We'll pick it back up next time. But they should be able to get these two in place here and here. Come on. Good. So we'll have that much storage uh, filled again. This is going to go up to 2.0 because I think it's already... Yeah. Yeah. We'll, of course, release all of this, since there's no reason to hold it back. And then I think th that much volume coming in should fill this up pretty much to the top. Now, when there there's a bad tide, obviously you're not going to want to do that. And we're going to uh, probably still need to have contamination barriers in place for when the bad water has to come through here. But uh, we're not not quite to that point yet. You know, they still haven't even built this small pile. Let's uh, let's make that happen. Okay, so the water is making its way downtown. Might actually be a little bit more than I thought it would. So we'll have to be ready to let the extra bits out, as it were. So there's actually how this is set up. Yeah, we're going to have a little bit of... Uh, Probably a little bit of overflow here. Yeah, we're already uh, flooding slightly. Yep, that is... How much more is there? Oh, there's so much more. Okay. Well, we will have to, to save our crops. Uh, let a little bit of water out. Just a little bit. And close this. That's about as full as I think it's even possible to get. At least doing this manually. So that's good. Let's close this off. Probably don't really need to do this this way, but hey. It's, it's already set up that way. That's fine. So now... Oh, there's more water. Never mind. I forgot that there was the entire uh, entire next bit. But I think it's going to have enough volume to, uh, to hold this anyway. We'll see what happens. It's going to surge flood a tiny bit down here. But it should settle in quite nicely. A little bit of overtopping, but it should uh, should go away. There we go. Cool. And there's a tiny bit left in here. That's fine. All right. Good show. 
Do we have uh, space for two more gravity batteries? We sure do. Do I have the materials for two more gravity batteries? We don't even need two more gravity batteries, but uh, yeah, I could actually build those right now if I wanted. But I'm more interested in our dance hall here. I don't think there's anything currently prioritized any higher than the dance hall, but there is stuff that was put in uh, before at the same priority, and I think part of that is this uh, this little bit of a potato here. So I'm going to unplant. Come on, I'm going to unplant all of this potato and that right there in case I want to have a path come out this way, and then uh, we'll see what we can get up to. We also, since we have all this dirt coming in, we can build this up completely as a, a sheer cliff face if we wanted to. We have that opportunity. That might be kind of fun. Might be kind of neat. I don't think we really need to, necessarily. If anything, we might need to start growing more wheat because we have so much of this stuff going on. In fact, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna replant this as wheat. I know this, this is already growing, but uh, we don't have any more wheat to grind up. We just have wheat flour. And we have 375, 380 loaves of bread and 58 maple pastries. That's not going to cut the mustard. Going to have to have more of that stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll we'll keep going after all this. It'll be fine. We're in a pretty good, good position as it is now. So we might want to consider, might want to consider just going ahead and putting these irrigation barriers in. Yeah, just to be safe. I know we can't obviously put paths or anything on top of these except platforms, but I don't think we really need to worry about it that much. I might, to cross the river here, I might do, go ahead and put a, a couple of those in, but we'll see what happens. This is going to have to be, to cross this, is it six wide? Yeah, the gap is, well, by the time we get around to bridging it, the gap's going to be six. I'm going to have to tear this down or blast it or whatever. I think to be the correct height. Yeah, that is two blocks taller. So let's get rid of that. I guess I could get rid of these while I'm at it because this is going to have to come up over the barrier. Yeah, if we're going to have bad water go past this, we absolutely, absolutely do not want it to infect any of this. That's going to be fine. So let's undo, unplant these potatoes. And we'll just we'll just commit to putting the barriers in. We have the uh, we have the tree to planks, which means honestly, I probably should be putting in instead another one of these bad water rigs. I have almost almost enough. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead, gonna go ahead and uh, do it. That's done. This needs to be a staircase. This needs to be a go away. I know that's a, definitely a real term people use. And there we go. We're going to have a really, really ugly, weird-looking uh, weird looking thing going on here. But what that means we can do is we can uh, get rid of these extraneous platforms. And I can have this come down here. And that's going to give us access to put in a couple tanks. A couple small tanks. One here. And then one here for bad water storage. That's not bad water, that's bad water. There we go. We just have to make sure this gets built by the end of this drought, which is uh, hopefully doable. I just need uh, 87 more treated planks. And as long as we're not using them, like some idiot decided to put in a bunch of these contamination barriers, <laughs> then uh, we'll be in okay shape. So let me just uh, get rid of these real quick. I'm not going to get rid of the ones that are already built, obviously. But we will uh, we will do what we can. I'm going to reset these before I forget about it. All these unemployed beavers. Got to have something to do. Got to have something to do. Let's put this path in place here. Plant some more sunflowers. There we go. So now I have actual dirt storage here. So that should be... There we go. There we go. Got a nice amount of water stored up. Storage is full. Probably should build more storage. Even if we don't need it, we're going to want to have it. 
and this is behind so much stuff. Why hasn't this been built yet? What are they? They must still be trying to build all of the ground by itself. That's probably exactly what it is. This should be a low priority job. I should have marked that the first time, but I didn't. And now this dynamite can be the lowest priority job. I don't need to worry about that. This dance hall should be among the next things that goes in. I believe, unless it's going to try and build the uh, double platforms first. Well, in the regular order, because, of course, these are first. Yeah, need, uh, need them to make some more treated planks with a quickness. Uh, these take three hours, so I can make, assuming a perfect workday, which never happens, I can make six per day. Per workshop, I have two workshops. 12 per day, we have 14 days left. It's not going to cut it. Not going to work. So, I believe what we're going to want is to build lots more of this stuff here. So two, two, two here, and then I put a big tank here. Probably would make sense. Yeah, let's just for the time being put this here and this here and then a, uh, a treated plank factory woodworking workshop. Yeah, I know this is ugly. It's that's that's just the way it goes, man. Just the way it goes. So let's make sure I didn't screw myself over here. Um, OK, neither of these things are used to make anything else. I uh, just need to produce the rest of it. Four hours to make one... S oh, man. Four hours to make one block of metal. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see if we can get it done. We will certainly see. Let's uh, instead make a whole bunch of... Uh, <laughs> uh, make a whole bunch of this stuff. We have, we have the resources to do it. And we have all these extra beavers, too. I, sh I really should have built uh, builder's huts. A long, long time ago. Should have done it, but you didn't. Alright, so that's going to go here. That'll get us all 16 uh, working. Oh, of course, these need planks and logs, too. Well, guess what? Now this is the priority. If everything's the priority, then nothing is. So we'll pause this for right now. Have them build the builder's workshops first. I think we have time. I think we'll be okay. Just got to be able to do what we have to do. I love that these these gravity batteries raise so fast. Now that we're making all of this power. The, it, it, I don't know. It's kind of validating because I thought I wasn't going to need them in the first place. But it's also kind of uh, whatever the opposite of validating is because they're actually useful. They're just not as useful as I thought they should be. Well, that's fine. Let's get this stuff built. I know it's far away. It's 93 tiles. We probably should be uh, probably should be having another district in here sometime soon, but I don't think I want to worry about that quite yet. Not quite yet. We'll see what happens. Just got to get these guys going here. Let's go, man. Come on. What are, what are they building first? Oh, of course, they're building these platforms. Okay, well, I, I did tell them to do that first. That's fine. Just uh, maybe get all this stuff done quickly. Please, please. You got 12 days. You got 12 days. And I, I know I said we're not going to get through this whole drought today. So there is going to be, uh, at some point, some point in the next couple of minutes, we'll, we'll put a stop to this episode. And we will uh, we'll pick that back up in the next one. Yeah, this is looking uh, almost, almost done. I just, I gotta have, gotta have these beavers working in here. Nobody's gonna come finish this until sometime the next day. That's fine. You gotta sleep. Gotta do what you gotta do. And we need to get our food situation uh, escalated substantially. I mean, we're looking okay. We have 1,800 here, but it's not gonna last forever. All right, finish that. Now I got four more builders. 
Let's go. Get that stuff going. We've got plenty to accomplish today. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna work nicely here. Okay, so we got planks and pine resin going in here. Adding the third wood workshop probably hasn't uh, hasn't given us that much more ability to get anything done. But uh, you know, it counts. Little bits and pieces count. Alright, so now we have only two unemployed beavers. And how many extra okay, I only have twenty-five treated planks. Where'd the other treated planks go? What are they doing with all of my treated planks? I haven't told them to build anything else that requires treated planks. And I paused this. So is that just because because why? Why is this in power saving mode? Is because they don't have materials? That's probably it. Oh, these aren't prioritized. That's probably causing a lot of issues. Mm, where are my treated planks? Where are my treated planks? They can't all be in transit. Or maybe they are. Well, we're certainly going to have our work cut out for us, aren't we? If we have, in fact, used all of our treated planks. I did not think... Oh my god, they went to the dance hall. Of course they did. Oh no. Oh no. I see. I wanted this. I literally asked for this. But I might have... Uh, ew, I might have... Uh, might have made a fatal mistake with this, uh, this bad water rig here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So let's see. Let's come up here. Get a couple more things done before we say goodbye for this specific episode. Get this in here. That's looking decent. Yeah, I know I'm not going to put any more of these contamination barriers in. Definitely not, because we're gonna we're gonna have to purge this going downhill uh, when the bad tides come in. Because otherwise, when the good tides come in, uh, this is just going to be a swirling eddy of death with all that nasty coming in here. Which means I almost almost would want to have a second set of gates right here that only open for bad tide. But if that's the case, then I really should have an incentive to just uh, have put this set of gates back here instead. I don't know. It's something to maybe think about for next time. I am just, I am so concerned about our ability to get another, get another 78 treated planks in the next 10 days. Should I, uh, should I demolish the dance hall and get 75% of these back? I don't, we might end up, we might end up doing that. Unless if the building isn't finished, I wonder if you get all the pieces back. I don't know. But let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, start wrapping this one up. Not everybody has to be over an hour, you know. Might come as a surprise <laughs> to some of you who might be used to the other stuff here. But they still have not still have not finished building these platforms. I guess they can do that next time. It's not really that big of a deal. We do have enough bread. We do have enough maple pastries for right now. But yeah, we are looking pretty good. By the time you see this, I will have already recorded at least the next episode in this series and several others for other series. I'm trying to get ahead of the curve before uh, Christmas rolls around. So this video, I believe, I believe, see, I can't even remember what comes out on what day because I've, I've recorded like seven videos in the last 24 hours. So I, I know this video comes out before Christmas. I don't know if the next one in this series comes out before Christmas or if it comes out the day after Christmas or whatever. I, th I think this one should be Friday. I think this one's Friday. And then uh, the next one should be Tuesday. So this one comes out before Christmas. The next one comes out the day after Christmas. I mistakenly said in the other series that that video would come out after Christmas, but it's actually coming out before. That's the Sunday video. Anyway. You're not even going to hear that part because I'm probably going to cut that other thing out. So incoherent rambling, you know you know what this is. It's what happens when I try to get super far ahead to fulfill my commitment of putting out a video every single day until the end of the year. Probably not doing this again, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't like uh, lying to people, so I said I'll do it. I'll do it. You can hopefully come to count on that, and we'll see what happens in the new year. But regardless, I'm thankful for you being here. really appreciate the support. Uh, including Beard Boosters as well and all of their contributions, making it possible for me to keep doing this insanity of making a bunch of videos about a beaver game. But it is fun. I really enjoy it, and I enjoy getting to talk to you and uh, all that fun. So please do leave comments, even though I'm not going to be able to read them before the uh, the next video comes out. You can still uh, 
offer tips, tricks, advice, say hi, frog emojis, whatever. I do enjoy talking to you and I appreciate the connection we share there. But that's going to be it for this one. Uh, you'll see this series again in a couple days and then, of course, all the other ones as well. But really, thanks for the support. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing. Stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.